Hey guys, so I'm um, sorry that I haven't done an update in two weeks. Uh, I guess just a week. Um, I didn't do my 37 week update. I was busy. Um, with I went to Twin Falls and visited my sister for my birthday over the weekend and just decided to stay there till Tuesday. And um, today is Thursday. And I'm 38 weeks and one day. And I had my doctor's appointment today, so I was going to do an update yesterday, but then I figured, I have a doctor's appointment tomorrow, why don't I just wait till then, and then do an update, and then I can actually have stuff to tell you. So, here's what I have to tell you. Um, as you know, at my last appointment, um, I was only like one centimeter, and my cervix was still pretty long, I don't think I was a face at all. So, when I was checked today... Oh, sorry. First, I had waited at my doctor's office for like an hour before I even got seen. And, um, sorry, I'm laying down. And, um, I had at least six to seven contractions just within that hour of waiting. And they were more painful than, than, um, they had been. So, um, I was kind of like, hmm what's going on here <laughs> um, and then I was just like oh it's just my brain overreacting so anyway they checked me and I'm at a three three centimeters and I'm 50% effaced and um, I actually had a contraction in front of the doctor so she like, you know felt it and timed it for me and all that and was just like well go go do some walking and I'm pretty sure you'll, you'll jump start it and um, you'll get going pretty quickly here um, because she knows that I had my baby I had Lily when I was 38 weeks and five days along so I'm 38 weeks in one day so she's like hmm you just have early babies I guess but um so yeah she's like go walking and um, she's like actually I wanna I want you to come back in two hours and I wanna check you again to see if you've progressed um, she said, you know, usually if you're in early labor, you're going to dilate about a centimeter an hour. So come back in two hours. We'll see if you've progressed, and we'll see if you're um, maybe starting labor. So I was like, okay. So she's like, go eat lunch, you know, hang around, and come back. So um, we did, and I went and told my mom, got my mom. And um, I continued to have contractions, and um, we went back at 2 o'clock. We actually just got back from the doctors. She told me I'm still at a three, so I didn't really progress just within those two hours, but that doesn't necessarily mean anything. She said um, that if I really wanted this baby out, if I just went walking or bounced on a ball or did something like that, I would probably jumpstart my labor. But um, Darren. We finally got an answer to when he's getting out, and he's getting out tomorrow. <laughs> so, um, he is driving home tomorrow, uh, which is like at least a day trip. So, we're trying to keep her in till Saturday. He'll be here Saturday morning. So, I am really, really hoping that this baby just waits until Saturday to come. Um, so... With that being said, my doctor said, since you want to try to wait, <laughs> I'm about to have a contraction, I think. Hold on. Yep. Hold on. They're, they're not too bad. They're... almost done I'm so sorry um goodness what was I saying oh since we want to keep her in till Darren gets here um she told me to 
go home, lay down, don't do anything. <laughs> uh, just relax and try not to do any kind of activity um, whatsoever. So thank goodness my family is going to help take care of Lily for me and um, I can just rest and take it easy and just hold this baby in for a few few more days. <laughs> Um, we'll see how the night goes though. Um, my husband is kind of freaking out because he really doesn't want to miss it and I don't want him to either. And there's, there's just absolutely no way to get him here any sooner than Saturday. So, that is what's going on. <laughs> um, so anyway, I've been having contractions um, pretty regularly they have been at least 40 seconds long majority of them and um, not really any longer than that um, some are shorter and then they're at least 6 to 12 minutes apart so um, yeah they're irregular but they're consistent does that make sense like I'm having them consistently but irregularly so we'll see um, hopefully they'll die off a little bit and um, nothing will come of it <laughs> yet um, and yeah so we'll see but um, other than all that I gained a pound one pound so now I'm up nine pounds total um, and I guess, oh, I've been having diarrhea for the past three days. And um, some nausea, too, which was kind of what led me to believe that something's going to happen soon. But um, I was kind of in denial. <laughs> um, so, yeah, I've been dealing with that. Been extremely tired and um, uncomfortable and insomnia I just can't sleep very well um, just moving doing anything is just so difficult now and trying to take care of a toddler just makes it that much more difficult um, so I feel bad because I can't like get on the floor and play with her or pick her up and and all that stuff and so it just makes me feel lazy but it's not that I'm lazy it's just that I can't physically do it anymore I'm just so big and tired so anyway I'll show you 38 week and one day belly shot if I can I've been having extreme extreme pelvic pressure and back pain as well I think she's dropped, but yeah. so. don't mind my <laughs> neon underwear. <laughs> so yeah, it feels like she's dropped. So hopefully, um, we'll get to meet her within the next two days. Hopefully not sooner than that. <laughs> I hope she waits for daddy to get here. So anyway, um, that's my update. Sorry it's been been so long, but um, I will keep you guys posted if anything else happens. So thanks for watching. Bye.